Hi guys. Welcome to the studio. My name is Allison Jensen and I am the owner of Orange Diesel School of Art here in downtown Liberty and it is President's Day and the kids are off school. So I found a slime recipe that I haven't tried personally um, and I, I posted it this morning to the page so if you didn't get to see it, um, it is on there and uh, it is a kinetic sand slime recipe. And I just thought, well, I mean, we have all this stuff here in the studio to try it. We would test it out. Um, one, for our own reference, you know, because it's always good to have more slime recipes kind of like that we can pull out of a hat when we need them. But then also for those of you that maybe are at home with kids here on President's Day and are like, what in the world are we going to do? I'm sure slime is the first thing on your brain that you want to do with your kids. Um, I love sand play, and so this this one really caught my attention because I feel like um, sand, sand is such a good sensory item for kids to play with. It's great for texture, it's great for building, it's great for scooping and pouring and all those things, but oh gosh, like as parents, do you really want sand in your house? So um, I'm hoping, cross your fingers, like I've done this, but I'm hoping that this is a way that we can put sand um, inside the house in a, in a fairly fairly clean way? I don't know. Um, but we're going to find out here today, live on Facebook. Normally I practice these things, you guys, but today I thought, why not? Let's go for it. So I've got my recipe here on my, my little post-it note, and when I, when I finish the video, assuming all goes well or whatever we learn, I will go ahead and type it out in the comments of the video so that way you can, you can actually just see the list of ingredients. Or you can go back to the blog post that I shared this morning onto the page. But according to the blog, we are going to need glue um, and we're going to need starch. So this is a slime recipe that uses um, our liquid starch instead of our borax. So I've got glue and starch. Um, we're going to need sand. So this is a, a fine sand I got from Dollar Tree. Um, it is decorative sand. It has a little bit of a hole in the bottom. That's why it's leaking. Um, but I went with the white because I'm going to go ahead and color it with my washable watercolors. You can use food coloring. You can use... I don't know. Anyways, but I'm going to use this. You, you don't have to color it at all if you found colored sand. Which I have some of that, too. I should have grabbed that. Oh, maybe later. <laughs> all right, so I got my sand. Um, I got my tub to mix in. And then two ingredients that I'm not familiar with in sand, or in um, slime. One is cornstarch, which we use to make our, our gag. So we're going to be using a little bit of cornstarch. And then this one called for soap. Never made slime with soap before, but uh, I took it out of the bathroom. So there we go. Let's see what happens, right? So I'm going to take everything out of my bucket because and get myself a little bit of elbow room. We're just going to follow the directions that were in the blog post. Yeah? Um, I'm not going to measure much, though, so you're going to have to bear with me because I am going to eyeball measure this whole thing. Um, we'll start with the sand because that was the first thing that they said to start with. Grab my scissors. I always feel really good when things I need are within reach. Like I'm like, I'm on it today. Put those right there. Because um, you don't want to see me try to open this with my teeth. All right, we're going to do about a cup of sand in there because that's that's what they called for. Ooh, make sure that doesn't fall. That'd be a mess. All right, so we got our sand in our bucket. And then it said to mix in the cornstarch. So this is my cornstarch. It's like from Sam's Club. It's a big thing of cornstarch. We use this for, for our sidewalk paint. Okay, so it said a spoonful. Do a little bit more for good measure. Here we go. Spoonful of that. What else was the other thing? It said a spoonful of cornstarch and a spoonful of soap. That's so weird to me, but we're going to go ahead and do it. All right, here we go. So a spoonful of soap into my slime. What do you think the soap does for the slime? I don't know. know. Alright, spoonful of soap. And I'm going to go ahead and put my color in while I'm at it. I, this, I thought this was turquoise. It's, it says teal, but it looks like green. I don't know. My mother says don't open it with my teeth. Okay, Mom. I won't open it with my teeth. I promise. Not on camera, anyway. There we go. That'll be good. It's not just to look like teal. That looks like green, but that's okay. We're going to make green kinetic sand. So see it in there? I feel like I'm going to switch utensils, guys, because the uh, the plastic spoon isn't doing the job. 
Can you hear me? Okay, because I got a new phone, and it's weird. It doesn't have a um, headphone jack in it. So my microphone doesn't plug into my phone. So hopefully you can hear me okay, even though we have, like, camps going on, and my gosh, they're loud today. They're louder than me. That doesn't normally happen. Oh, there we go. So we have this wet, sandy, green mixture right there. So I'm just going to kind of smash it around. Make sure I get that, that soap stirred in, I think, is what I'm most worried about. It's got, like, it's got, like, bubbles in it now because of the soap. Yep. Yep, Mom said she can hear me. That's good. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so it's, it's almost like into a wet sand consistency. It's very gloppy right now. So that, that little bit of soap must have done the trick here. All right, let's add some glue. There it is. I'm using the last bit of my little Elmer's glue and then we've got a couple, a couple bottles of the Colorations brand back there. I was trying to do an experiment on which brand made the best slime and so far I really don't think it matters. But um, I don't know, maybe I could Google that. Let's put in about a cup of glue, ready? We'll go with that's about a cup. Set that down to the side. I know I always say this, but you don't have to have a giant glue bottle when you make slime. If you make just like a regular glue bottle, it's just fine. I think that's four ounces, so that's about half a cup. So you could have this recipe or you could use two glue bottles, right? I just bought a bunch of glitter glue in bulk so that way we can make glitter slime. I've got a little girl who's turning 10, my daughter, who's turning 10 and we're doing her party in a couple weeks. And we're doing a rainbow unicorn glitter slime party. So there's going to be lots of glitter and lots of slime and lots of unicorns. It should be good. Pretty excited about it because I really like unicorns. Okay, the recipe says a third a cup of this. Right now, you guys, I don't, you can't tell because my bucket does, this is not the best way to show it, but this is pretty, like, soupy gloppy. So it's going to be really interesting, and it doesn't look as sandy anymore. It'll be interesting to see how this comes together into a slime. Grace says she likes the clear glue. I know you do. You know, I like the white glue, and I like the shaving cream. That is so far my favorite slime recipe. But I have high hopes for this one. I do. All right, the recipe said a third of a cup of liquid starch. In my experience, you can always add more, but if you add too much at the beginning, you end up with something that is so tough to work with and just too firm. So we'll just add a little bit at a time and see what happens. I probably added about a fourth of a cup there. So it has come together into a ball. You can see I can lift it up and it sticks up there in that top corner. It's still pretty sticky. So I'm not going to quite pick it up with my hands just yet, but I will. I will. And then hopefully I don't have to call, like, hopefully it's true, like, good slime and it doesn't stick to my hands and I don't have to call in help for someone to stop my live video. Did you guys see that video? <laughs> there was one video I got my hands so messy I couldn't stop the video. I don't think it was a slime video, though. I don't know which video it was. One of them. 